Hey everybody, I'm ZooTapTap, and Makai Wars just updated again, and the arena is finally a thing, after, like, five, six months uh, since launch. But yeah, this update is a little bit more complicated than usual, so I figured I would do a video. I was gonna stream, but then the arena kind of locks you to, like, really boring fights at the start, and I already got a stream planned for tonight, so we're just gonna explain it in a little video here. So, the arena, the, the text here won't really make a lot of sense but what is important is there's a new metal shop that you earn medals by winning fights and there are exclusive characters you can get only by summoning me with medals um, there's fallen angel flan which is a different flan from the other flan that's already in the game and there is the disguise generic mage in all five colors parker please and um you can also use the medals to buy a few other things other than Gasha tickets and also these flags which work just like the Giorama panels in that they give you a passive buff except they only apply in the arena and Geo panels don't work in the arena. I don't really know why it was done like this but it feels just kind of like a whale feeding kind of deal. And I think there's some kind of rewards for what rank you got. In the arena. I wouldn't worry about that too much because I kind of assumed that whales will just kind of devour everything uh, as whales are wont to do. To do. And uh, an important thing is that your defending team in the arena is determined by your team one. So make sure your team one is always kind of your best defensive duders or your best, you know, people that you use for regular stuff. Because uh, otherwise, if you like, just leave that one like blank or bad or something, your team's gonna lose. I'm not really sure how that really affects your ranking, but just uh, you're not 100% sure how everything works. And it's a lot of Japanese, so I will admit I didn't go on Google Translate everything. But this is the arena. There's also a summer Asagi event, but we'll we'll finish up talking about the arena first. Um, so this is kind of how it works. There's different ranks, and it kind of works like story mode actually. And um, I think these lower tiers are like filled with bots or something, basically. It's kind of weird. I, I, I can't really tell if they're real people or not. I mean, it's all... It's not real time. It's like you fight an AI version of their team, which is kind of what I always expected it would be like. But yeah, you can go through and three star every round, and then you get a little extra bonus for completing each set. And you can't proceed further on without getting a certain amount of stars in each thing anyway. So I would recommend just three-starring everything before you're moving on, especially since um, everything seems to give you just 30 medals. There's two tiers that nobody in uh, the Discord has gotten to yet. Those might give you more, but it seems like everything gives you 30, uh, which is a little confusing because, like, that seemingly so far there's been, like, almost no incentive to, like, actually fight a decently challenging thing. But yeah, let's just take a look at a fight here. Let's use my... Uh, good team here and the sad thing is I they're still much lower level than I am so I can just kind of beat this on auto and there's not really anything I can do about that yet oh let's go ahead and put on animation skip oh it's already on the way the settings work in this oh it might I swear it just randomly resets the the options every once in a while when you load from cloud save because like certain things I don't remember ever turning on will be on other things will be off, whatever. But yeah, the, the battles are pretty much what you would expect. You're fighting real enemy teams, so certain characters that seem kind of useless right now, like Sapphire has a really interesting passive that gives her an HP shield if an enemy critical hits her, but no enemy has boosted criticals in the story mode. So that's never really very useful. Uh, in, in battle, in this battle, it could potentially be useful. But on the other hand, it just seems like an all-out attack team is really what you want, because it's only one wave, it's one-on-one, -on -one. Um, it's not like a survival battle kind of thing, so uh, a healer doesn't seem super relevant here if you can, you know, kind of race to who you can knock out first. And the standard AI abuse situation is kind of the case here, You can, if you can kind of trick the AI to doing stupid stuff, uh, tends to be the best. And there's a three star system. I'm not 100% sure how that works. It explains it if you click the star. Um, and these early matches, it's so easy, it doesn't matter. I assume it's like nobody gets KO'd, finish in X amount of turns, and it's just something. And yeah, you don't get scored like 
two stars is not automatically like 20 points. There's like a range between, like see there's zero out of 10. So I just probably should translate those, but you know, Google Translate is your friend, let me just say that. <laughs> I'm, I'm lazy, I don't want to look at it. Um, which things would, oh yeah, this just goes to the thing that explains all the crap in the arena. Um, so again, if you, if, you, if you really feel like Google translating a lot of text, you can go to that. The important thing is you get up to 10 BP, which is your stamina in this mode. BP restored a rate of one per hour. You got a maximum of 10. You can restore, what is the cost here? I don't actually want to buy this, but what is the cost? BP 10, I don't have enough. But yeah, I wouldn't. I don't. I don't personally recommend burning gems on that kind of stuff. I say that all for the uh, Gashapon. I've been trying to get Summer Alvatier. I really want to get her. She, that's so cute, but uh, I haven't got it yet. And I don't really have. I don't whale or anything, so I don't have an incredible amount of you know diamonds and stuff to spend. But I'm hoping I'll get her or something. Um, but yeah, you can check your progress with the through the ranks on uh, with this button. And you kind of have to wait, like I said, you're kind of in the baby pool for a while. And then you can change the ranks with this. Like, this is uber babby mode. This is semi babby mode. This is regular babby mode. Like, we're starting to get kind of okay teams here. Like, see, somebody's actually over level 121. So, you know, kind of okay. And I assume the next ones start getting, like, properly hard, even at my difficulty. Or maybe one or two more. Um, and so you can see the rankings here. Again, uh, this is kind of PvP in a free-to-play mobile game. It's just a bone thrown to whales. There is some stuff you can get as, you know, a free-to-play, you know, kind of guy. But most of these people just have paid. This is the first day Arena's been out. So what these people have done is just, they had an incredible amount of rubies saved up because they spent a lot of money in the game. And they, they just kept repeatedly doing the same thing over and over to get their thing. And, uh... Yeah, I'm in spot 2,000 because, you know, I'm with a whole ton of other people who have just used my stamina for the day and that's it. And not spent money to, you know, get fake internet points. And you can see kind of your progress here and like your uh, win-loss ratio, I guess, that is. And most importantly, if you tap this little button here, is the shop. So, through today I've used about, I want to say, 15 uh, battle points. Uh, you know the stamina things and I've gotten 500 medals and some of those I think are like rank up rewards So I think I got a little bit less than that from just directly from battles So compare that to the cost of uh, Fallen Angel Flan a hundred thousand So at my current rate 20 days, which doesn't sound that bad But I think it's probably more than that because like I said rank up bonuses I'm not entirely sure how it's all calculated um, This is the witch ticket or the um, the the mage ticket uh, for the D Disgaea generic. She's 3,000, which is pretty pricey for generic. I'm not sure if her stats are really that impressive. Um, nobody has her yet, at least nobody that's not a you know Japanese whale. Um, so we don't know how great she is. This is a pretty ticket. Uh, printies are not particularly good. Uh, but if you want a printy, these seem to be, these pretty tickets seem to be the only way to get them. Uh, nobody on my server's ever got one in the regular Gasha Pond. Um, fire, water, and leaf tickets, which for some reason excludes the fire or the, the light one. I don't know why. Uh, you can get red orbs, which that's nice. And uh, you can get big rainbow stones for the three star characters, uh, which that's nice. I'm personally going to be saving straight up for that Fallen Angel Flan, and I think most people will as well. But uh, that's pretty much what we got for now for Arena. And. In addition to Arena, there is a lot of Gashapon going on in this game right now. There's four banner Gashapons. How is this one still active? This... Oh, wait, that's just the regular one. Okay, so there's three banner Gashapons. The one without a timer is not a banner, and these characters shown on it are not improved rates. A lot of people get confused by that. If there's no timer, it's not a special Gasha. Uh, th these are just the new people in the Gashapon. So, there is a new set of Summer characters. There is Summer Asagi, who you can get without Gashapon. There is Summer Valvatoras. And there is Summer Rendriger. Or Ren Rendriger. Uh, it's just a Norse name, it's really hard to say. Um, the, this Gashapon, with the Extreme Cutie uh, Alvatir here, is still going on. And there's also Judas, who's just kind of there. And uh, 
Rosalind. I was lucky enough to get Rosalind, but not, uh, she wasn't really my top pick, but whatever. Um, uh, there's also this extremely boring Gashapon that they've done, like, two or three times at this point with the main three from Disgaea 1, but hey, they got a game coming out, so whatever. Uh, Summer Asagi has, um, an AoE and a three knockback. I think it's, like, her regular skill, basically. She's water-type, too. Um, she's got a 3x3 three three forward area of effect for her ultimate... And her first passive, she's based all around speed. She's got a really high base speed. She, her first passive, don't yawn at me. I'm not boring. Rude. Um, the fifth, there's a 15% confuse enemy chance when attacking a slower enemy with Asagi. So she's meant to be as fa fast as anyone. And her second passive, which is really nice, um, speed plus 10%. For the first two waves of for for the first two turns of every wave, so for SP quests that's a pretty good bonus, and that'll really help you from getting you know beat up in your first turn every <laughs> SP10 wave. Um, Summer Rend Gridder, um, single ally plus 45% speed buff. Uh, again, you know speed focused. That's a really nice buff. That's her skill two. Skill three is a three by three, I believe. High damage, uh, plus a 25% chance to get a one turn of blind. Um, she gets a cooldown minus one on all skills when knocking out a target. I think I can show you these characters while I'm talking about this, can't I? If you click this little button, it'll tell you the, the rates and the kind of stats and stuff. So that's Summer Renderer. Um, Summer Asagi, like I said, you can get her in the event, which I'll get to that in a bit. Summer Renderger, um, minus one cooldown when KOing a target. I think that's only for her, not for the whole team. It would be really nice if it was the whole team, but I'm pretty sure it's only just for her. Um, again, not many people in my Discord server have her yet, so I don't know. Uh, and she's got another one of these stupid gendered passives where male allies get plus 4% speed, which is like 80% of the cast is female and all of the gendered buffs favored males. It's like, oh, great. Like, Almaz gets the boost, which is nice, but nobody else gets the boost. It sucks. Uh, Summer Val gets, um, for one thing, kind of the laziest design. <laughs> it's just a bl white version of his regular shirt and those, like, samurai pants. Anyway, he's got, um, kind of better AoEs. I, I forget the pattern. Does it show the pattern? No, it doesn't. Um... Yeah, he's just got two AoE skills, and he has, I think, a 3x3 instead of the weird thing that Tyrant, the Tyrant thing has. Um, he has the same heal. Um, he has the 5% heal that uh, a lot of other characters do, like Valkyrie. I don't think he heals status like Valkyrie, though. It's more like Yggdra's heal. Um, and damage plus 25% with when attacking enemies with under 30% uh, HP. So it's kind of like the... Um, there are... the Dullahans have that, some of the Dullahans. So, let's stop having the Gashapon lady talk in my face. So this is the event. Uh, the event... The, the other summer event is still on for a few more days. And in this event, there's quite a lot of things. This event has its own currency, which you can see down here. Um, there's a daily reward thing that you can get, and you also get some... You get 300 every time you clear this round here, this final one. And, um, the top reward here is you can get 50 Summer Asagi Stones, and by finishing the second to last mission, you get another 50 Asagi Stones, uh, Summer Asagi Stones. So by combining that with the store one, you can buy Summer Asagi without, you know, giving any money or having to pull gosh upon. Plus you can get rubies, you can get an incredibly, ridiculously overpriced six-star weapon ticket. Don't buy this, please. This is holy crap. That's ridiculously overpriced. Um, the five-star ticket, I would still strongly recommend against. Um, there's blue and red orbs, which are nice. Very pricey. Personally, I'm gunning straight for that uh, Summer Asagi. Um, you can get two-star Rainbow Stones. That's the smaller one for two stars. Um, you can get some nice, delicious sandwiches. You can get some Evo potions and all this other crap. Um, in addition to just grinding this one, this event is actually really neat. It has a little daily task thing, which is kind of a pain in the butt to check. Also, we get double hell for this week. They kind of do these rotating things now. We get double hell or double, or not double, it's like 1.5, but it's more hell, it doesn't matter. Um, 
which one is it? This one. It's got this like daily tracker thing, which would be really nice if they added it to like the daily tasks thing instead of in here, which is kind of a pain to get to. But basically what the requirements are, defeat 30 fire enemies for 700 sapphires, um, sell three weapons, which is 500 sapphires, finish five quests, any quests, including like event SP quests and stuff, with Asagi in the party for 500. I'm not entirely sure if Dark Asagi or Summer Asagi count for that, but I assume they do. I only have the regular one for now. Um, clear summer quests five times for 1,000 sapphires. That's going to be easy because you're probably going to be grinding, you know, that last mission for 300 every time. Uh, clear all daily missions is 2,000 sapphires. Um, and then there's a time bonus, which is you basically got to do, I think you got to either do a mission or just like open the game um, between 6 a.m. and... 12 p.m. Uh, Japanese time, you know, Japanese Central Time, whatever that's, whatever that's called. So that is a total of somebody posted it. What was it? You can get if you do this every day for the full event, you would get 1,500 uh, sapphires, assuming it stays the same, which I assume it does. So you can get quite a lot if you don't grind and you but you make sure to do the daily things you'll still get a good amount personally i'm just gonna use I have, i've got like 50 sandwiches left so i'm just gonna grind first just so i can make sure i get her um i'm already like two 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 fifths of the way through so doing pretty good and this mission's pretty easy it's like level 100 characters with good gear should be able to clear it without too much trouble. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all the new content in the game. Like I said, it's a bit more substantial than their usual update, which is good. Uh, glad to have the arena. I, I'm not 100% sure it's gonna be... It kind of feels whaley, but... As long as you can get stuff without, like, just losing to whales constantly. Like, you can choose your opponent and stuff, and... It seems like you'll have a chance against the whales, just not in the, the rankings, but just, just ignore these. So look at all these people like not even equipping people just to show off and stuff. Though I think if you just edit your team, like if you used a full team and then edit people out of your team, you could like, you know, look cool. Because, you know, people really want to look cool on the internet, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's the new update for Makai Wars. Uh, stop by the Discord. Just go to sirtabdub.com slash Discord. Uh, we've got a channel for Makai Wars. We've got a lot of other players. And, um... It, I don't think there's a way to manually, like, try to fight somebody in PvP, unfortunately. So I don't think you can really challenge each other. But, uh... You can still come in and talk about the game and stuff. And gripe about the Gashapon and all that fun stuff. <laughs> so, see you around.